What's up, my people? It's your girl with Tomboy Chronicles. So, um, today, I, I don't know why I'm just into this thing where I'm just responding to stuff that I hear on the radio, but um, or podcast or whatever. So, today, um, I, I was listening to something yesterday where um, the guy's podcast, he was talking about men being friends to women. And somebody else posted about, can men and women really be friends? Um, yes, they can. But he said something very important that men should know. And um, I, I wish men would listen to this. So he basically was saying, if you're a friend to a woman and she's put you in the friend zone and she considers you a friend, let it be that. Don't be her friend for ulterior motives. Don't be her friend to wait for that moment for you to slide on in there and try to, you know what I'm saying, disrupt the friendship. Because if that's not what she wants from you, she's not going to want that from you. And um, it was he was very passionate about saying this, like, just don't do it, guys. Stay in your lane. And if you can't stay in that lane, don't be friends with her. And I totally agree. I have men in my life, and it's important. Like, I, you hear me talk all the time about balance. So balance is important, and that's in everything, even in your friendships. So I have female friends, and I have male friends. And those male friends, I put them through the ringer to make sure they're an actual friend. You know, rule number one, you don't sleep with your friends period because that's gonna that's gonna affect the friendship um and i have a lot of friends i'm different with my male friends because you know i'll hang out with my female friends all day they can come to the house and kick and stuff like that my man friends no we do not sit in no space just them and i alone in my house none of that we don't do that and um and it, it is because Although you say you're my friend, of course, I'm thinking, you know, they're going to try something. You know, another rule I have, if I'm going through a breakup, I definitely don't hang out with none of my friends. I don't go to their houses. I don't go to my male friends' houses. I don't let them come to my house because in a breakup, that's when they try you. They're going to try you. They think you're vulnerable. They think you're weak or whatever. I'm not the one. Don't try it. But um, most importantly, um, I treat my male friends like I female fr my female friends. I share. And if you're in that tight circle of my of friendship, I'm sharing details of my life and my relationships with you. And as they are with me too. Uh, a lot of my guy friends, I could tell, I can tell the shift. Like generally speaking, in the beginning of the friendship, I'm talking about my life, things that's the nature, and they're kind of hush hush about what's going on in their life and about their dating and stuff like that. And they get to the point where they realize this girl is not gonna give me a shot. She is not interested in me in that way. Then they start opening up and sharing their lives with me and their relationship issues and things like that. And we're at another level of friendship, which is great. So in sharing our lives with each other, I think that when you try to come at your female friends based on what she's told you and things like that, I just think it's sneaky and it's, it's just disrespectful. We're trusting you. We're trusting you to be our friend. We're trusting that you're going to not take advantage of that. We're trusting that you actually want a platonic friendship with us. Um, and and with that, it's, and that's a lot for a woman. We are still the weaker vessel. We are still in a vulnerable state. And we don't want men that's going to take advantage of that. Now, um, I said before, I don't knock my friends for trying. Um, one thing I will say... I've never had my friends, any of my male friends, come to me for sex. If anything, they'll ask why you never gave me a shot um, or can we try to see if we can have a relationship, things like that. Or they act a certain way where I can feel like, oh, well, I think you're crossing the line. So um, I don't knock you like, because everybody knows that when I'm in a relationship, I'm committed to my relationship. Um, when, I'm, when I'm in a relationship, I feel like some of those friendships have to be cut off because I have a man in my life. I have a man to, that's supposed to fulfill all these areas in my life. So my guy friends know like if I'm in a relationship, they're not going to hear from me. We ain't hanging out. We ain't doing much together. Um, in my marriage, if these are really, really good friends of mine, they're, they're introduced to my spouse. 
um, we may end up hanging out together. If they have their girlfriend or their wives, we're all doing things together. And that's the way it's supposed to be. Like, these are real, real friends in your life. You should be able to um, have them meet your significant other. But um, the point is, like, if I'm outside of a relationship and you say, hey, you know, do you want to you want a date? You want to see where this can go? I'm really digging you, blah, blah, blah. I'm not finna knock my friends for trying. But when I say no, um, I think we, we're best as friends. I like this friendship and this dynamic of the relationship. That's where that ends. And it shouldn't come back up. There shouldn't be um, any situation after that where we should be in a relationship. We should talk. I've already said no. Um, but again, you can't knock someone for trying. Because, you know, sometimes you, you, you're friends with people and you guys have, form a bond with each other. And you do have like interests and things of that nature. So, you might want to see where it goes. Like, both my ex-husbands, they were my friends. Um, they're my friends first, and we end up you, we end up dating and end up getting married. So, I don't think there's anything wrong with that because, you know, you never know who God will put in your life um, for you and how they come into your life. But the main thing is, as a friend, women put a lot of trust in you men. For one, to be honest with them, to be open with them to have a different perspective so the men in my life they give me the hardest time they don't hold bars with me they let me know if i'm being stupid they let me know if i'm the issue they let me know if the other person is the issue like if i'm friends with somebody and i realize they say girl you right every time the dude telling me i'm right i know i'm not right all the time but if every time i'm in a situation they're taking my side every single time i kind of just stop being friends with them um, if they make me feel uncomfortable in the conversation, because like I said, I don't really physically in person hang out with my guy friends that much. Um, if we do, it's kind of a group thing, showing up for each other, support and things like that. But if the um, if I feel like they're coming on to me or trying to hit on me, stuff like that, I kind of just back out. Um, I kind of back out of the friendship because I can't trust you in that friend role. And not just saying it's the men. You know, you got your female friends, too. We in Atlanta, so, you know, women like women. So, it's my female friends, too. If I feel like they're being a little too much and feel like they're being a little too close to me or, you know, everything is there, either agreeing with me or have an attitude about everything going on in my life, um, I watch out for that as well. So, you know, either way, you, you when you call someone a friend, especially me, I got tier one friends, tier two friends, tier three friends. Sorry, I do. Tier one, um, it's only about four or five people in tier one. And these people that know almost everything about me, um, what's going on in my life. And these are people I trust and I hold dear to me. So if you violate that, you might not even get to tier two. You're just out for the count. But tier two is people you like, you know, you shoot the, kick the, shoot the breeze with whatever, catch up with them or whatever and see how they doing, show up for them, show up for their things and do all that. Tier three it's basically y'all going, y'all showing up for trips and birthday parties. Y'all don't barely talk during the year. That doesn't mean you're not friends. That means you don't care. We just, we're adults now, so we know how it is. So it is what it is. So you catch up on vacation or catch up when someone is celebrating something, which is fine. I'm okay with being someone's tier three, tier two. It's fine with me. Let's work. But um, bottom line, guys, um, when a woman entrusts you as a friend, don't be in it just to get close to her or to bed her or to anything else because we're trusting you to be a friend shout out to my guy friends because they're great at making me feel like crap <laughs> but uh no nah, real talk yeah they're, they're great at um holding their position and you know a lot of times when i'm like done with when a relationship and they, they and they have me look at myself and say hey look what are you doing in this situation? You might need to give this person another shot. Like lately, um, I think my guy friends are pushing me more to date than my female friends because um, they they feel like I deserve I deserve it. Um, and it's great to hear from your friends. Like you deserve a good guy. You deserve someone who's going to support you and be there for you. This is what you need to do. And giving me advice. This I know. <laughs> They, they are true friends like ain't no man gonna try to push you to another man if he's trying to get with you but anyway so um thank you guys for the great advice this week thank you for the talk thank you for that podcast to bring it to bring it to light to as a man to tell other men stay in your lane and if it's friend zone stay in friend zone if you don't want to be in friend zone 
t let the person know and say we can't be friends and move on. What you look like waiting around for her to pity herself and give you a pity relationship. Like, you didn't earn that. She not feeling you like that. She just going through a hard time. Is that what you want? You probably do, but it is what it is. So be straight up and honest. That's why I'm straight up and honest with all my friends about how I feel and where the situation at with us and make sure we're on the same page. That's male and female. So that's all I have for you guys. I love you. Have a great day. Uh, get that workout in too. I've been working out like a beast. I'm on that that pre-workout. That's why I'm talking so fast. Sorry. But yeah, as always, I love you guys. Love yourself and love each other. Have a great day.